Hey guys, welcome back to another Reality Check 3D printing review again. We're gonna be looking at the FL Suns. Uh, before I called it the SLA, it's then I called it the DLP, and now I'm gonna call it the LCD. 3D printer. It uses a UV spectrum LCD. Anyway, we're gonna go ahead and take a look inside the machine just for a second. Plus, I also did want to acknowledge I've had a lot of people message me and let me know. They've said, hey, if you're gonna be using a resin printer like this, you wanna make sure that you're hollowing out your models so you use the least amount of material as possible. And one thing with these is, is I actually very purposefully with everything I've printed so far, I actually wanted them to all be very solid. But I will go ahead and make sure to show you guys that I do know how to, uh, to hollow them out. And if you're interested in how to actually get your prints hollowed out to make them so that they use a lot less resin, then I'm gonna show you how to do that as well. First, I want to actually show you guys the, the most recent prints that I've done. You guys saw, of course, one of the first things I did was the, you know, the cool hexagonal geometry ball, and that was really, really, really sweet. And uh, one of the other things that I printed was this guy right here, and I also just wanted to point out, yeah, on the bottom of him, he actually does have some of those holes, so you can see that this thing is hollow, and that just like that, and the holes are there so that you can actually put water and wash out the resin on the inside so it doesn't get stuck inside there. I did wanna actually show you guys and bring your attention to these cool shapes. Stuff like this, it, although you can print a lot of these things with a normal FDM printer, they just will never look the way that they look unless they're printed with uh, an SLA, DLP, or LCD printer like this. And one thing, the, by far the most beautiful, intricate piece I've done, this is uh, you know the Eiffel Tower right here. And, and I have a lot of Eiffel Tower stuff here in my house, Eiffel Tower, photo over there in the distance. I've got an Eiffel Tower photo over here. So, you know, yeah, I, I like my Eiffel Tower stuff. And, and this one is just, it's mind-blowingly gorgeous, intricate, and the detail is just stunning. So anyways, what I'm gonna do right now is I'm going to go ahead and open up this uh, printer just to kind of show you guys what it looks like with the light on. And then we're gonna go ahead and take a look at Mesh Mixer and how to empty out these models and make them hollow. All right, let's do it. Okay, so one thing you can see right here is I've actually just taken the plate out and there's actually resin in there right now. So it's gonna start to solidify if I don't cover it up. So you do wanna cover it uh, anytime you have the light exposed to it so you don't do what I'm doing right now. Also, you do wanna use gloves and uh, I, I don't have any gloves on right now, but you, you, I do use gloves normally when I'm handling the actual material itself so I don't get it all over my hands. Uh, what I'm gonna show you here is the machine. And this is the machine right here without anything on it. And uh, if we turn it on, you'll be able to see inside there, there's actually going to be a UV light that turns on. As you can see on there, it says on LED. You can see from here, there are actual mirrors in there and there is some kind of, uh, you know, an LCD UV spectrum light coming off. So uh, it, it certainly is interesting how it all works in there. And that is of course full coverage. So it would actually flash the whole bottom piece of it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn the light off and uh, we're gonna go ahead and actually, like I said, go check out Mesh Mixer. And we'll see exactly how simple it really is to get your model prepared for printing with one of these UV resin printers. Okay, so here we are in Mesh Mixer. It is a free program and it is very, very robust and nice to use. I'm just going to drop in a pyramid right here. This is a pyramid structure that I just pulled in from Thingiverse. Uh, if uh, you look at it right now, it's a solid object. And if I were to print this with resin, it would print a whole solid pyramid brick and that would use a heck of a lot of resin. So the one thing you're going to want to do is click on edit. And when you go in here to edit, you're going to see you've got all these different options. And one of them is hollow. So when you click on hollow, it's gonna just kind of go through your object and it's gonna say, hey, I'm gonna keep all the edges and I'm gonna take out all of the center, right? So there you go, boom, it made it hollow. And now it is a hollow object. It is ready to print, right? Now, the one thing about this thing is that it needs to have some holes in it because to add holes is going to allow you to have the ability to, like we showed before in the print, actually rinse out the inside of the model. And in case there's resin trapped in there, it actually gets to you know pull it out like you need to when you rinse it with water. Okay, so the first thing we have to do is we have to actually hit accept. And then we will, once we accept it, we can actually see the object is right here, it's hollow. And the first thing we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to go into edit and we're gonna add tube, right? So adding a tube, as you can see, goes right through the center here. You can add any kind of a tube anywhere you want, but what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna actually put one right here towards the bottom. Keep in mind, there are many different ways you can add holes to things, but I find this just to be one of the easiest ways to do it. Um, Cause when I do something like that, you'll see there's actually just a hole right there. So what I would do is I would just make sure I do this a few times on the bottom of anything that I have. So again, I'm just gonna hit add tube. We're gonna squish it together a little bit. We're gonna say, yep, I want a hole right there as well. Now I got two holes on the bottom and that's good because I can actually, like I said, rinse out the model with these two holes. 
And from that point forward, I can actually save this, go ahead and export it as uh, STL, Pyramid Hollow. Okay, so that's it. Basically, it's very, very simple to take any model to make it hollow, to add uh, holes to it. If you need actually to have tubes to it, or if you want to make something like a necklace, you can easily add like a, you know, a, a, a tube all the way through something. Uh, it's really nice if you want to take models and make them really small and create them for little knickknacks for people. Also, I know some people like to make charm bracelets, so what they'll do is they'll take their favorite action figures, they'll shrink them down, they'll put a tube through it, and they'll put them on their bracelets. Uh, there's a lot of fun things that you can do with this stuff. So Okay, so that's going to be it. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this last little look here at this FL Sons, uh, that was what I called it, SLA DLP LCD 3D printer. It is the, the complete 3D printer, uh, their version of it. Also, I'm gonna be looking at the Anycubic Photon printer here in the future as well. Plus, uh, back here we've got the TiVo Michelangelo, and uh, we're gonna be looking at that as well. So, I hope you guys uh, come back and look at some more videos. Thanks for watching this one. See you next time, bye.